Miss Emma from MELC. Last week with you guys, I made an origami fox, and this week I'm gonna make an origami koala with you. If you are following along and making different origami animals with me, make sure you guys keep them and collect them, because in a few weeks when we have a lot of origami animals, we are gonna collect them all together and make an origami zoo poster with all of the different origamis that you've done. This week, I'm gonna be making an origami koala bear with you. For this activity, you're gonna need a piece of paper, some scissors, and some writing utensils. The first thing you're gonna do is make this rectangle into a square. You're gonna do this by bringing this corner up so it meets the other side and is flat and even all around. It should also look like this. You'll have a triangle and a rectangle and you're going to cut the rectangle off. Once you've cut the rectangle off, you should have a square that already has one crease in it and now you're going to fold it again to give it another crease going the other direction. Once you've done that, you should have a triangle with a crease in the center and a crease on the top. The next thing you're going to do is take the two outer corners along the crease and fold them up towards the point corner in the center. It now should look kind of like this, another square with an open kind of crease in the center. And you're gonna take the two triangles that are at the top that are not connected and you're gonna fold them upwards so that they come over this edge like this. And then you're going to fold your center triangle down so it becomes a straight line like that, kind of like what we did with our fox last week. You're then going to flip it over and fold these two top triangles down. You don't want to fold them all the way down because you want your koala to still have ears, but you do want to fold them down so it is a flat top. You are then going to take the two triangles that are not connected at the bottom and fold both of them upwards on either side. So one side, and the other side. The next thing you're going to want to do is make it look like a koala. I didn't have any gray paper, but I do have a gray marker. So I'm going to color my koala gray. I colored my koala gray as well as added two eyes and a nose. I left the area around the nose white because koalas often have white fur around their nose and mouth, and they also have really large oval noses, so I wanted to make sure that my koala had a large oval nose. If you guys made an origami koala bear with me this week, I would love to see a picture of it. You can send it to me at ejudy at melearning.org and make sure you put it somewhere safe so when it comes time to making our origami zoos, you know where it is. If you also have not made your origami fox but are interested, you can find it on the virtual kindergarten to third grade playlist on the virtual MELC YouTube page. I hope you guys enjoyed this craft and continue to stay safe. Bye friends.